Hey guys, John Jim here. Welcome to episode 4 of Superhero Spotlight. Now in this episode we'll be doing a very fun uh, Superhero Spotlight, uh, a character who I enjoy immensely. Um, he is probably one of my favorite characters right now. And that is none other than the Merc with the Mouth, Deadpool. Um, he is a fantastic character. So let me get into a little bit of background and give you some of my thoughts on Deadpool. Um, he is part of the Weapon X program, which is the same program Wolverine uh, was put into when he got his adamantium claws. Now, he doesn't have adamantium claws, but he does have an accelerated healing factor, much like Wolverine's. Um, the only difference is his healing factor was to prevent uh, cancer, his cancer from spreading. It actually cured him. However, uh, in doing so, it left him horribly disfigured, and this is why you see him clothed from head to toe. Um, he's a mercenary uh, for hire and uh, is very good at what he does. Um, he's been hired uh, by nearly everybody, including Hydra, um, AIM, uh, any, everyone under the sun uh, has pretty much hired him to, to do uh, a job for him. Now, um, one of the things that, I, that fans and especially me uh, love about them is his incredibly wacky sense of humor. He is um, always going off about something. Um, he's always making fun of his uh, uh, enemies when he's uh, fighting them, much like Spider-Man. But uh, Spider-Man does more of a wisecracks type of thing. Uh, Deadpool is just—he's just random. He he comes up with stuff like um, out of out of left field. Um, many of him, uh, many of his peers, including. Um, Taskmaster, Bullseye, and stuff like that think he's just nuts. He's out of control. Uh, and this is coming from Taskmaster and Bullseye. Um, uh, matter of fact, Taskmask Taskmaster has called him uh, the best mercenary out there. And uh, I tend to agree with him. He's probably the, the best one out there right now. He is the best one out there. Um, now, uh, he's not very well known in um, the mainstream uh, media he's not a well-known comic book character but the people that do know him uh, who do read Marvel comics just absolutely love him um, he's gone up, up against foes like Wolverine um, uh, just everybody the X-Men um, just pretty much right now pretty much everyone under the sun uh, that's uh, anyone in the Marvel Universe has gone up against Deadpool um, including the Hulk, and um, <laughs> he's actually Deadpool is sort of a fan of the Hulk in a way. Uh, it, it's pretty funny. It is, it's, it's awesome. Uh, he's also a, a big fan of Captain America. Um, it, it's it's re he's really quirky like that, uh, but you gotta love that about him. Um, one of the things that is going on with Deadpool right now is the fact that he is um, doing his own movie. Uh, now, uh, this may throw some people off a little bit because he's not very well known, like I mentioned before. Um, but from the X-Men Origins movie, what people got to see from him, uh, especially fans uh, of Deadpool, loved what they saw. So uh, Ryan Reynolds, who is going to play Deadpool, who's also going to be doing Green Lantern, which I neglected to mention in the previous video um, that uh, he'll, be, he'll be playing both characters and I think he's going to do an excellent excellent job portraying Deadpool um, in the new uh, movie that's going to come out in uh, 2010 or is it 2011 I'm not sure but it's coming out sometime soon whatever but um, uh, the only complaint I have about uh, Deadpool right now is not the character is kind of what Marvel's doing to him right now I think he's he's spreading him out too thin much like Wolverine um, he's all over the place right now he is actually gonna have three or is it three or four books out right now um, and I get he's a great great character don't get me wrong I love him um, he's a phenomenal character but I think they're wearing him out a little too thin right now um, He's got a little too many books. Keep it down. I would say keep it down to one or two books. I would really love that. Um, it, it would keep the character fresh. I think it would keep him last longer too. 
and not just have him burn out and uh, go by the wayside. I don't think that'll happen, but uh, you never know. I mean, if, if you do something for too long, um, it, it might not last as long as you expect. So, um, so yeah, that's my only complaint, but definitely check Deadpool out. So make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And for the next superhero spotlight, I'm going to be doing another DC character. And it's po quite possibly my favorite uh, DC character of all time. The Cape Crusader, Batman. Stay tuned.